Hey guys, this is FNS or Finesse from NB's Valorant team, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your graphics and your monitor hertz for maximum performance. So as far as FPS goes, it's super strong and a huge advantage if you have higher FPS than other people in certain maps because your frames are very, very important. If the higher they are, the better they are, and the lower they are, the worse. Uh, ideally, in Valorant, you want it around 300 to 400 FPS consistently throughout all the maps. And in other games, it might not be that case, but in Valorant, see, because you have so many abilities and it's just so much going on on the map, you wanna make sure that your frame drops are not happening. And I'm gonna show you guys today how to make it so your settings are to the optimal level for performance. So as far as NVIDIA settings go, what I normally do when I'm setting up my PC is I instantly go to change resolution because that's where your refresh rate is. And I make it as max as possible. So maximum on this monitor would be 240 Hz. So I would immediately go to the highest possible resolution, which is roll right here. These are all the resolutions. I would just go to 1920 and then I would look at my refresh rate. If it was on something like 100 Hz, I would just make it 240 and then just press apply and you should be good to go. I also go to manage 3D settings and I make sure that everything is performance mode. So as you guys can see, for example, uh, power management mode, maximum performance as opposed to adaptive every single time. And then preferred refresh rate. Usually your refresh rate will stay the same, but just to make sure you just wanna make it so it's highest available every single time. And then the last one is texture filter quality. You wanna make sure that's on high performance as opposed to quality or yeah, see high quality or performance. Just make it high performance. And so those two things are super, super important in general. The other thing that I do um, after that is I make sure I go to adjust desktop size and position. And I make sure that I'm on full screen because you don't wanna play Valorant or any other games really on. I prefer not playing it on window mode at least. So to do that, I just wanna make sure I click this full screen thing. And once I have that, I sometimes your monitor won't scale to the game instantly. So what I usually end up doing is I go override the scaling modes. I make sure I always check this at any LAN that I go to or anything like that. And then usually that fixes the problem and everything is scaled properly to size in game. Lastly is the setup G-Sync. I just make sure that it's off. Usually this will be enabled when you start up a new computer or you start up NVIDIA control panel just make sure that you disable it every single time because it's just something else that's eating away at your frames and you don't want that. When you make the settings exactly the way I prefer them personally, I've had a lot of experience in different lands and stuff like that, so I know what I get in terms of max performance. And as far as no input, input lag goes, it's definitely very, very important that you use these kinds of settings, especially when it comes to monitor refresh rate, because it's very important to be able to distinguish between what you're playing on 75 hertz, for example, and when you're playing on 240 hertz. If you're an experienced player, you're probably gonna realize the difference between the two before you even start your computer or right when you start your computer. But essentially, it's really, really important to have the highest refresh rate possible because of the lowest amount of input lag going forward. So when I start up Valorant, uh, this is obviously the opening screen. I make sure I go to settings and I go to video up here. And then on general settings, I make sure that I am on full screen. That's just what I prefer. You can do either or. Um, but the most important thing is make sure your resolution is on 1920 by 1080 at 240 hertz. Um, or whatever your maximum resolution your monitor can handle is. Um, and then obviously just make sure that your monitor is at its correct setting in terms of like if you pick the right one, because sometimes people have two or sometimes three monitors plugged in. Um, going into graphics quality, this is obviously the most important part. You wanna make sure that uh, your multi-core rendering is on so all the cores on your CPU are working. Um, and then you want to go into these settings. Obviously, the Valorant, the way that the game starts, it's usually always going to have all of this on high and all of this is going to be on. So it'll look something like this. And then this will be at like MSA 4X and then this will be at 8X. You want to make sure that all of this you turn to low for max performance. And yeah, the game will look a slightly worse than it would on high, but in return, you'll get quality FPS and way smoother gameplay overall. You wanna make sure VSync is off, ideally, to does it, so it doesn't cap your FPS. And then you go into anti-aliasing, just turn it off, you won't need this. And then make this 4X or 2X, nothing more than that. Improved clarity, you can put at like 
off if you want to, but you can keep it on. But everything else you should turn off ideally. And this should maximize your performance going forward. So the last thing I wanted to go over was a couple of tweaks on your mouse and make sure that your mouse settings are correct when you open up Windows to begin with. So what I do is I go to mouse, I just click mouse on the search bar down there and I go to mouse settings, this entire screen will pop up. You wanna make sure you wanna to go to additional, you don't have to really do anything here, just go to additional mouse settings. And this is extremely important is a lot of people have enhanced, so you go to pointer, pointer options and when you see enhanced pointer position, you wanna turn this off. Almost every single computer that you start up or is a new PC or something will always have this on. You wanna take this off because your mouse will feel a lot more crispy as opposed to when you have it on and it feels glidey in a sense. So I know this is a preference base for a lot of people, but for a lot of professional players that I personally know and play with and play against, almost every single time at any LAN or any time we set up, you always wanna to go to these mouse properties and turn this off, enhance pointer position, and then you just press apply and okay, and you're good to go. All right, guys, well, that's it from me. Um, these are probably the best settings you're gonna be able to find. Uh, there might be some tweaks here and there between different players, but this is probably the best possible way to get max performance where it comes to Nvidia and Valorant specifically. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys and in your setups at home or your new computers or whatever it is. And if you guys like more videos like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment down below.